It was, it was obviously a, a good win. Uh, I think we've continued to improve uh, offensively. Uh, we guarded the three-point line pretty well tonight. We gave up two in the first half on just miscommunication. And then we gave up one late to the best shooter. So just a little bit of a lack of discipline there. But, uh, you know, defensively, I thought we were good. Uh, rebounded the ball pretty well. Uh, they did a good job uh, switching the zone and it kind of broke the rhythm of the game. And uh, we got good shots in the zone in the first half and it didn't go down. And I think our guys got a little bit, uh, you know, it got into their heads a little bit. And so the zone uh, picked up some momentum for them and uh, it created a run and some run outs and some transition opportunities. You know, sometimes against good teams, you, know, you start playing with the lead and you start playing not to lose instead of just, you know, continuing to play. And so there was an element of that, but uh, found a way to get it done at the end, made some free throws, came, made 11 for 11. You know, you know that held us last game. And today we only missed four of them. 24 for 28 is pretty good. And, um, so uh, all in all, uh, good night, good win and uh, something for us to build on. And, now you can look at it and say, all right, they won three out of four going into the next game. And, and uh, that's important for our guys right now. Appreciate it, Coach. At this time, we'll take questions from members of the media. Go ahead. Rob, how does it feel to be on the good end of one of these things at the end of the game? Yeah, yeah, it feels good, obviously. You know, I, I, I think, you know, when, when you struggle as a team, uh, the grind of a season it's hard to enjoy the film sessions, the practices, the weight training and the travel. Um, all that stuff feels better when you win. Um, and so you got to give a team credit that when they do have some struggles, that through those struggles, that they continue to grind and work and find ways to have a game like this. Now, the last three games that we lost, we lost by a total of nine points. And uh, one of those was on a buzzer beater and another one was in overtime. Uh, so, uh, and, and so for us to turn around and win three out of four, it says that uh, our team has a little bit of metal, and we've we used that word a lot, and uh, and we've challenged them on getting better defensively. And I've said it before: rarely do teams make significant improvements defensively in season. You generally, uh, once you have an identity in that regard, it's hard to change it. And to our guys' credit, we've changed it. And now we got to improve on the offensive end, which has kind of been something that we've grown used to being good at. And so if we can put the two together, I think we can uh, continue to improve as a, as a team. Is it encouraging that without really any practice time between games, the things that really hurt you Thursday night, the assists in the first half at least, and then feel uh, free throws throughout the game were immediately better in this game? Yeah, it just means I didn't have enough time to screw them up. You know what I mean? I only had one day and, and uh, they just went and played. So uh, good for them. As Mark put myself to his West Squad, you started a Kleiss, uh, in this, put him in the starting lineup for tonight. Uh, what led to that decision and what did you see from him uh, and his contributions to the victory? Well, you know what? Uh, Jamal is a high energy guy. He's intense. He's engaged. You know, he's dealing with it with a nagging injury that uh, he'll be able to address address fully in the offseason so he can get healthy. But his limited play has more to do with his injury than his ability or his contributions day to day. He's been hampered by by an injury that slowed him down and he was feeling good and practicing well. So we injected him in there with the hope that he could help us. And he did. He always brings energy. He's always engaged and alert about what we're doing. And uh but his practice reps have been limited by the fact that uh, he's been dealing with uh, a, a nagging situation. Before he played three minutes in the second half, was he? Was there an injury involved? Or did no, from here? no, we just we just uh, had a little bit of a rhythm going, and we decided to stick with some other guys. That uh, and then once we got to a certain point in the game, and we just kind of kept riding the guys who were in there. What did Evan show you? He was out there a lot tonight. Um, you know what? He's always a threat to make a shot. Didn't go down for him. But I, I think we all, you know, when he lets one go, we all feel like there's pretty good chance he's going to go in. You know, unfortunately, he didn't make one. But uh, it was good to have him back. You know, um, I think he's got to do a better job of being engaged himself. You know, uh, prior 
to him being out with the health and safety protocols, he was really trending up from a competitive standpoint and uh, was, was really starting to show some growth as a floor leader. And uh, he hasn't brought that back with him yet. So, uh, but now he'll, he'll get a, a normal week of prep and hopefully he can get back to uh, trending up the way he was prior to, uh, to, to, to being out for a period of time. Hello, coach. Um, how do you feel about Nelson Phillips? How do you feel about Nelson Phillips play tonight, especially that put back in the first half? Yeah, Nelson is, you know, you can count on him to make some athletic plays like that. And, um, you know, he's a dynamic athlete and a good player and a good shooter, you know, mentally, He's playing too many games with himself. He passes up too many open shots um, and winds up taking tougher ones because, um, you know, he's second guessing himself. And I've been telling him, I don't care if you go 0 for 10, I want you to take the next one with confidence. And we got a couple of guys dealing with that. And I, I just feel like at some point the dam is going to break. I thought it would the first half. I thought this might be it. And, uh, uh, and then when they went zone, I got excited. I said, we're starting to make some shots and they're going to go zone against us. This ought to be good. And uh, it turned out to work against us, unfortunately. Hey, Mars, up to once again. Uh, Jalen Thomas gave you uh, double digit points off of the bench. Uh, you've been on him, about his, on him about his consistency and bringing it every game. Uh, what about today? Just him coming off the bench, taking that role and giving you that big contribution with those uh, 11 points. Well, I think the big thing more than the statistics, it's just his attitude about coming off the bench. You know, he's been a starter for the first two years of his career. Um, you know, he could, ha he could have a bad attitude about the situation, but instead he embraced it. He owned up to the fact that he hadn't been playing the way, uh, you know, we expect him to play at this point in his career. And he's been a man about it. And as a result, um, you know, he's going to play his minutes and he came out and he, he uh, He's had a couple of good games of late, so he's just got to continue to build on that. You talked about the defense kind of helping you out. and in, you know, South Alabama had their zone working for most of the second half, but they couldn't really make a run until later in the half because you also were playing pretty good defense the first half of that second half. Yeah, yeah, we, we had a nice defensive rhythm, and then their zone created some situations where they started getting runouts. We took some bad shots. We turned it over a couple of times. And now instead of sitting down in the half court and guarding them, that's where we were doing a good job. We wound up having to guard them in transition. And, and Chandler is just a low coming downhill, full speed in transition. And that's where the gap started to close. He single-handedly was like a one-man fast break. And a lot of it was based on, you know, our poor uh, execution against the zone and some turnovers and some runouts and him just getting ahead of steam. And, but when, when, when it was five on five in the half court, we were, we were pretty solid. And so that's a, that's a credit to our guys. And, you know, as we improve offensively, if we continue uh, the trajectory that we're on defensively, I think we got a chance to, uh, to become formidable. Yeah, uh, Coach, is looking at the standings, that the difference between first place and last place is only two games in the loss column. Do you feel the team is finally rounding into form and can find itself – uh, moving up into conference stands and putting himself in a good position for the conference tournament? Well, I don't know what a good position for the conference tournament even means, you know, with the way our conference is. I mean, anybody can beat anybody. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about the standings at this point. Uh, all I'm concerned about is my team improving and getting to a point where we play our best basketball going into the tournament. And then we'll play whoever they line us up with. If we're not playing well, it doesn't matter. But if we're playing our best basketball, then uh doesn't matter who we play. 